Now that you're ready to do the remodeling of your bathroom, I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take to install doors, body sprayers, or jets. This is the diverter valve, and that one is the one that is gonna control the direction of the water to the different features that you have in your uh, shower. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that that is installed right after you install your main shower valve. The shower valve is gonna provide you with the pressure and the temperature that you want, and the um, diverter valve is gonna do uh, the work of directing the water to whatever feature. For instance, in this case, uh, the first uh, um, position is the one that is going all the way to the rain shower. It mixes up to the handheld uh, shower head. Uh, it goes directly to give the pressure to the head. See, this valve is called a six point or six port diverter valve. And when you buy the trim case, you wanna make sure that that one is set for six pieces if you wanna use three different features. In this case, I'm using the jets, the uh, handheld body sprayer, and the rain shower. So those, uh, as you move your diverter valve, you or your handle, you're gonna experience the uh, uh, transferring of the water from one place to another. So that is really important that you remember. If you buy like a two port, our oh, three port uh, that will give the water to different uh, situations. So in this case, it's called the six port diverter valve, and I'm gonna leave it on the description so you can actually get all the parts if you want. Now these ones are feature and Venetian bronze, but you can find them also in chrome. You can find them in gold. You can find stainless steel, pewter. You know, there are different finishes from different companies. So in this case, that is. The, the way I order for all this, this bathroom, all the dark colors. Let's start with the PEX uh, piping that I'm using over here. In many places, PEX is not introduced yet, but PEX is one of the best materials to work with. And instead of using PVC, uh, copper, bronze, um, um, or galvanized, you wanna use this. And obviously, the droppier elbows, the little uh, cross-like things that are there, are the ones that are gonna provide the support and the water for our three jets. In this case, I'm leaving them about uh, two feet apart, meaning, uh, you know, uh, one, uh, zero, 12, and 24, that's the distance. And what I wanna do is create a loop so the water will be distributed equally uh, throughout the entire shower uh, system, you know, the, the configuration that I have over here. If you have better pressure, you may work with four or five different jets in different places inside the shower. But in this case, the PEX piping is really comfortable. You can cut it with this kind of PEX cutters here. And I have this pinching clamp tool and the pinching uh, uh, clamps as well that I'm gonna show you. So I wanna make sure that this feature uh, is uh, as tight as possible so I don't occupy too much space in the shower. And the little pinching rings that you see here, the pinching clamps are gonna be the ones that are gonna be helping me. So what you do is you wanna make sure that you put all the pressure in it. And with this tool, you can actually um, uh, fasten three eighths, half inch, three quarters, and one inch. Honestly, I haven't used it in other, in other dimensions, but maybe it works for something bigger or smaller. But in this case, I think it's, it's a lot in one single uh, uh, cramping tool or clamping tool. Um, let's indicate it. This is a piece of two by six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark exactly what I want, which is, you know, a 24 inch space for the three of them. And uh, I wanna use some um, rust free or, or, you know, exterior screws. In this case, I'm using the, the concrete board screws to fasten all these correctly. And if you notice, I haven't uh, cut and installed the last piece. That's because I wanna make sure that everything is nice and straight before I do this. Sometimes when I do it in the other way, it, you, you may see that it looks a little twisted. You can buy pegs uh, in rolls or you can buy like pieces or straight pieces of pipe in different colors. Um, so it, it helps me a lot when I'm doing large plumbing around my house or renovations. Uh, having a pipe that is uh, color oriented is, is nice because you know where the, the cold and hot water is. These plugs are here to be uh, as guide when I'm installing the tiles and also to provide for the pressure test. Remember that you wanna uh, test all these pipes before you close any walls and in the distance, uh, maybe you can find it right at the waistline, your chest, and then you're probably your neck. That's gonna connect all the way to the diverter valve in a moment, I'll show you. 
But the important thing over here is that everything is nice and secure, that whenever you install everything else, just like the better valve, here's the reference. This one is from Delta. It's called R11000. That's some sort of like a universal one. And what you buy different is the trim. So this will come by itself, and then you order the other parts depending on the likes that you have. That side that is in red, if you're gonna use only like a two port, you, you close that one. But in this case, I'm transforming. Instead of using female adapters, I'm gonna use these little um, transitions from copper to PEX. So you wanna make sure that you uh, clean this really, really well. You use brushes and sandpaper and you use the right welder. I have other videos where I show you how to weld properly. You wanna make sure that you have some water to to, to avoid any you know any hazardous condition, stay away from flammable stuff, um, and make sure that you start heating the element each feeding that you wanna uh, weld. It has to be uh, covered with uh, soldering paste uh, inside and out, uh, so you can actually maneuver correctly and you have that catalyzer for you to make sure that it mixes really well and, and, and it works as a soldering, uh, uh, you know element over there so if you don't have that the solder is not going to glide into the pipe and it's not going to you know connect properly so you want to make sure that you do it properly you want to clean that really well make sure that you don't have a lot of excess of the material and let it dry obviously let it cool off for a while before you clean it i always like to clean any copper welding that i do soldering because the material that that you work with that paste sometimes leaves some weird green residue so you want to make sure that you clean it really well and pl put the plug again. Um, so you obviously you, you can perform the test and leave it until the end so you can put the trim piece at the end. Go ahead and put insulation, close the walls and have it ready for your uh, final part. That is the important thing over here that you leave everything ready. Uh, install your tile and remove those plugs carefully. Make sure the water is not there uh, so it won't be behind the wall. Put your uh, brass nipples, make sure that they stick out about half inch. Fasten it properly. This is an internal screwing uh, tool that I'm gonna have a video about. Uh, and make sure that it's nice and flush. If you need to put any sealer around the, the edge, make sure that you install the stuff, uh, put Teflon tape, and install your uh, shower um, body sprayers in this case. Uh, obviously, whatever other uh, uh, fixtures you have, you wanna make sure that you install it properly and you have a beautiful shower now to enjoy. You see how you can do all these things? Obviously, you know, see other videos about how you can install the rest of the of the pieces so you won't be confused, but having something like this is amazing for your own house. So follow me on my other social media sites, as Hugo Correa um, and YouTube, Hugo F. Correa DIY on Instagram, and Hugo Correa DIY in uh, Facebook. So thank you so much for watching, and now you can enjoy your beautiful bathroom. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.